Hey everyone and welcome back to Queens on the Road podcast. This is Latavia here and of course guess who I have back with me? Lewis. Hello, glad to be back. Yes. So okay, today we're going to talk about our hobbies and just miscellaneous stuff. So you ready Lewis? I'm ready. All right, let's roll. All right, so Lewis, did you hear that by 2055, they're going to make 95% of the New York City subways accessible? I did. I heard that today. I found that out today. Um, Why is it taking so long? That was my initial thing. Like, why is it going to take so long? But here's the details, right? So by 2025, they're going to do about 80% of the Staten Island railroads so they're doing it in increments they're splitting it up so that by 2055 95 percent of it will be done my thing is this all came out of a lawsuit right but 15 percent of the money that they get in their budget yearly goes to disability accommodations and repairs and stuff so where is that money going why couldn't we do this sooner why is it going to take this long I have my theories. I think it's because, you know, in the ADA, it says that any public facility built after 1993 has to be accessible. So because most of the subway was built before then, they don't really have to make the modifications. So I think that's why the timeline is so long. But that's just my opinion. Oh, wow. I I honestly, I had no idea about that rule. I just think it's ridiculous. We live in the 21st century and it should have been done sooner. I mean, I'm kind of glad that it's getting done, but still. Yeah, I mean, I I, I didn't know about that rule, but it seems like they're definitely taking advantage of that. Yeah, but every year I'm like, why isn't everything wheelchair accessible already? Like, I was like this in 2020, 2021, 2022. Why isn't there elevators everywhere? Why isn't everything wheelchair accessible already? I have no idea. I sometimes feel like we're forgotten. Yeah, and only 15% of that budget is for the disability community. Yeah. Only 15%. Wow. I definitely feel like sometimes we are forgotten and we're not thought about in conversations. I think that's part of the problem. 2055. I'll be like 70 something. Don't give them your age. I'll be right up there with you. How old will I be? Probably. Old. Not that old, okay? I'll still be in my prime. I'll get to enjoy it, but I still think it is way too long. Yeah, way, 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 way past due. So what do you think about New York becoming an open carry state? That then? is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you would think they go the complete opposite way with all these current events of shootings in supermarkets, churches, schools, and now they're allowing more guns on the streets. Yeah, I think it's really insane and it's really crazy because especially in New York City, crime is up. So I don't think that's going to be a good combination. We need to start sharing our uh, current events episode because I don't think state officials heard it because I need to know what am I supposed to do in that situation. Exactly. Uh, like you said, stable community is pretty much forgotten and Somebody needs to get in these uh politicians' ears. And something needs to be done. I mean, what happened today with the new laws is ridiculous. It definitely is. I think we should have Supreme Court limits. Like, you should not be able to be on there for a lifetime. You need to get off and let somebody else go on. I also think the court is, like, too conservative, too all the way to the right. And cut off age. Yes. Cut off age. Get off the bench after five years. Put someone new. Do something. I just think that the way they run government sometimes is very archaic. 
but that's just my opinion. So, I also wanted to talk about hobbies. You ready? I'm ready. What are some of your favorite hobbies? Ah, uh, hobbies, hobbies. I like going bowling. I like Ooh. bowling. Another hobby of mine is uh, driving. I know you love to drive. Why do you love to drive? I don't know. It's just driving is just peaceful, and I don't know. I just like being on the road, specifically on the highways. It's, just, it's nice. It's peaceful. It's relaxing. Uh, put some music on and just drive. Okay, so I know exactly what you should do for this summer. You ready? What's that? A road trip. Oh, yeah. Where are we going? I don't know. Maybe Florida, since you love to drive. That's a long drive. Yeah, that's a long drive. I haven't driven that long. What's the longest you drove? Uh, Three hours to upstate. Okay. So we could probably push it to like five or six hours. It's Florida's a bit more than that. Okay. So I'll look up um like a five or six hour drive and then we'll drive that far. I got you. All right. Another hobby of mine is uh, in my own spare time, I do some karaoke. Ooh, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, y'all. He can't sing. I could he sing he can't beautifully. Sing. No, he cannot sing. Don't let him lie to you like that. He cannot sing. Neither can I. Karaoke is not my thing, but I do love to go bowling. I love bowling. I have also gotten into, you know, building those little Lego models. Okay, yeah. I've showed you a few. That is like my new favorite thing to do. And it is super relaxing. Love it. Just a little tidbit. That is great OT to work out your fingers. That is good to know. I'm telling you, when I finish doing one, my fingers are like screaming. But it's actually good exercise. So I like it. They're screaming, yet you love it. That's (laughs) That's amazing. I do. I do. It's relaxing. I also picked up hand knitting. So, okay. yes, I love knitting. It's actually relaxing after a hard day of work, like seeing my creation. So it's, it's really good. So hold on. You do, you do knitting or, or crocheting? Cause to me, they're both like the same exact thing. No. So crochet is like a different kind of style. I don't know how to explain it, but the knitting that I do is called hand knitting. So basically the yarn comes with already pre-made loops and you have to like learn how to do the different stitches and, and link it in together. And sometimes you can make blankets with it. You can make pillows. You can make sweaters. Like, remember that one sweater I had showed you for my birthday? I think it was last year. I made that sweater. It was, like, black, and then it had gray on the sleeves. I made that entire sweater. Took me a couple of hours. I love that stuff. That's, like, my thing. Poetry is also my thing, but you guys already knew that already because you heard a few of my poems, but those are my things. Oh, and I'm a big, big, big video game fan love video games yeah when i have nothing to do that's that's what i like to do video games they calm me down i'm like a little child inside yes i definitely love it i love mortal kombat i love all the old school playstation games they came back out with again so crash spiral reminds me of my childhood i love those yeah i like i like games that uh when you actually compete with each other like right now i'm competing against this little kid on a game of subway surfers so anybody out there that loves playing subway surfers my top score right now is over a million you want to come against me i'm for it listen i don't have good reflexes for subway surfer i could get up to a good score but after a certain point it's over yeah i'm, I'm trying to get me a, a ps5 but every time i look for it it's sold out Oh, forget it. You're, n- you're never going to get one of those. Yeah, that's what it seems like. They're sold out everywhere. And due to the pandemic, they can't make enough of them. So, like, you have to scrounge around on the internet for them. So, you can forget that for a while. Someday. Someday. You know, you can put it on your wish list. Like- yeah, right? <laughs>
right, so you ready for some questions? I am ready. Who's going to ask them, me or you? We're going to ask each other. All right, fine. So you go first. All right, question number one. Mm -hmm. What is the most desirable trait that another person can have? Oh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. I would say I'm stuck between two, intelligence and being funny. Okay, okay. That's a good answer. I would only say that because sometimes I need to laugh. And secondly, I like having good conversations. So Yeah, someone that could, you know, carry a conversation. Yeah. What about for you? Yeah, definitely intelligence. Their personality has to be really good, like caring. I enjoy someone that knows how to carry a conversation that doesn't have those awkward silences. Right? The awkward silences yeah, are the those worst. Are, those are the worst. It's like... How am I supposed to fill this space? What am I supposed to say? They're definitely the worst. Okay, you ready for my question? I'm ready. Would you rather be a worried genius or a joyous simpleton? I would have to go with joyous simpleton because I enjoy life. Uh, everything, I like things simple. I don't like, um, everything complicated. Uh, and I don't know. I just like being happy and enjoying life to the fullest. Okay, I think I would have to go with Joyous Simpleton. Just because that means you're naive to everything and you have this innocence about the world. That's what I loved about being a kid. Like, you had an innocence. You didn't know how hard life would be at the time. It was just all about having fun and enjoying life. Yep, I know a lot of kids wish they were adults. Stay kids, kids. Definitely, because a, a manual doesn't come with adulthood. And if someone would have said, you have to go through this, this, and this when you become an adult, I would say, okay, how can I stay a kid forever, please? <laughs> exactly. So, I have a question. Okay, go. What is the weirdest thing you've ever ate? Oh, see, that's hard because I'm a picky eater. I'll switch the question up a bit. The weirdest thing people probably wouldn't think that I would eat would be calamari, which is squid. Oh, okay. I love calamari. Is that slimy? It's not slimy. It's just chewy. Ooh. I like it fried, though. Very nice. Very nice. Have you tried it? I have not. I eat the basic seafood, like shrimp, lobster tail. That's about it. Oh, no. You have to come over to my side. It's very comfortable over here. Yeah, uh, I, I'm okay. What's the weirdest thing you ever ate? All right, so um, back in like 2008-ish, seven, I was in the hospital and the nurses were having a party and I wanted to get into the party and uh, it looked like they had chicken. So I, I asked the nurse, slide me a slice of chicken. Okay. So they did, they put it in my room and I was hyped. And when I took a bite, that, that wasn't chicken. <laughs> that was not chicken. What was it? Ended up being frog's legs. What? Yeah, it it looked like chicken, but it was it was disgusting. I can never forget that day, and I would never eat it again. What did it taste like? Oh my gosh, horrible! Like it was meaty but bitter. I don't know how anybody else at that party ate it. Mm, interesting, interesting. I'm not gonna say I will try it. I don't think you should. That's just not my cup of tea. But okay, all right. I'm gonna ask you a question that's gonna make you think. Are you uh, ready? I'm ready. All right. Are you holding on to something that you think you need to let go of? Wow. That is that is difficult. I don't know. Would having like that inner child be something holding on to? Like, yeah, but I don't think you should let go of your inner child. I don't know. I've seen a lot of adults just, just like take adulthood seriously and they don't know how to have fun. That's true. But I don't think you should let go of your inner child. Yeah. I think that's like the best part, you know? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, what about you? I think I would have to say maybe, I don't know. It would have to be for me the fact of like I always have to prove myself. But I feel like I always have to prove myself just because being in a wheelchair, people judge you or judge your skills based off of you being in the chair and judge your intellect so i always feel like i have to put my best foot forward so people don't judge me based on my chair okay and you feel like that's something you have to let go in a way yeah but i feel like it also motivates me too yeah that, that that's what i think like us being disabled People automatically have their own expectations of us and i don't know that gives us strength to 
move past those expectations and prove them wrong. Yeah, but I'm always the type that wants to do it all the time. So I think I just have to maybe find a balance. Maybe the worst movie you ever seen. Worst movie I've ever seen was when we went to the movie theaters one time and you chose to watch The Ridiculous 8. No, that, that movie was just horrible. First of all, it was called The Hateful Eight. It, Second of all, are you ever going to let me live that moment no, down? No, not at all. Please. It was one movie out of like the one in a million that we've seen. One movie. I mean, he's never going to let me live this moment down. One movie sucked. Okay. It was really bad. You see, I couldn't even remember the name. It was really, really bad. Horrible but, and took forever to finish. But you're never going to let me live that moment. Absolutely again. not. Absolutely not. And that was years ago. Choose one bad movie and you're banned from life for picking the rest of the movie. Yeah, that's why I have to, you know, pick the movies from now on. No, see, we pick the movies together. But I have, you know, the majority say. No, no, we do not. <laughs> we agree on the movie because I'm not going to watch something that I find boring. It's so like we, uh, we uh, both have to 49, agree. 51 percentage, like majority stake here. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is not how it goes. I promise you guys, that is not how it goes. What is your favorite food? Oh, that's easy. My favorite food has always been lasagna. Yeah, lasagna. I yeah. hate lasagna. I love lasagna. I hate lasagna. Seafood is my favorite. I love seafood. Oh, I bet you I can tell you your favorite movie of all time. I bet you you can't. I can. What's that? Scarface. Ah, uh, yes. I'm a, I'm a very big Scarface You fan. love Scarface. I well, love Scarface, yeah. What is my favorite movie? Putting me on the spot. Guys, I'm quizzing you now. What is my favorite movie? I'm putting this friendship to the test. Uh, I'm going to say a movie that I know a lot of women like that I personally don't think I've ever watched it, but I know a lot of women like The Notebook. That is my favorite movie. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. I love the whole storyline. That is one of my favorites. I need to watch it. I watch bits and pieces of it. It's a great movie. My second favorite is like Love and Basketball. Okay, okay. Love that movie. Favorite sport. Oh. Well, we actually have the same favorite sport. I can tell you yours. Football. Yeah, but that's the only sport I like. And we're both Giants fans. Yes. What is my other favorite sport? Basketball. Mm, who's my favorite team? That I do not know. You don't remember my favorite what, my, team? Miami Heat? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, see? 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 You do remember. Okay, so I know. What is one of the most embarrassing moments in your life? Oh, I don't think I have an embarrassing moment. Because I look at every moment as like a teachable moment. Okay. What is your most embarrassing moment? Story time. The last time I went to church. So, uh, for, I guess they were praying or something and they wanted me to stand and everybody's praying with their eyes closed and head down. And my mom's holding me up, like standing and my pants fall. And I'm trying to get her attention. Ma, my pants are down. I'm not trying to get everybody else's attention. So good enough. I was able to catch her attention and she pulled my pants back up. And yeah, that was the last time I went to church. <laughs> Definitely embarrassing. Yeah, I have a question for you. All right, what? What are your biggest pet peeves? Oh, one of them would have to be like when I text someone and they don't respond. Like they respond days later. He's laughing right now, guys, because he does this to me all the time. That's my MO. He does this to me all the time. So I have I mean, it's learned. Not, it's not just you. It's, it's, it's everybody. Whatever. So I have learned that if it's very important and I want to reach him, I have to text him. And I also have to send it through WhatsApp if I want a response. Then he'll give me one. 
Yeah, um, I've been, for years, I've been very bad at texting on time. No, it's not the fact that you don't text on time. You take days. Yes, uh, hours, days. Days, yeah. not hours, days, days. I can do hours because, you know, everybody's busy. Everybody has work. Everybody has something. So I can do it if you don't text back. And he takes days. Don't let him lie to you. He <laughs> takes days. I don't know about that. Days. 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 But yes, I've been very bad at that for years now. What is your biggest pet peeve? Ah, oh, biggest pet peeve. I would say, I don't know, anything that has to do with like cigarettes, I, I hate it. Oh, okay, um, that's an interesting one. And also, um, people that chew with their mouth open, that annoys me so much. That is kind of cringy. Yeah, something you can't live without. What is it? I would I'm, say a hat for you. Uh, yeah, probably a hat. Like everywhere I go, I have some type of hat. Yeah, that that's a good one. A hat or a, a hoodie of some sort. Yeah, yeah. I I always have something on my head. Let's see. What's one thing I can't live without? I would say, and you guys are gonna think like it's very cliche, but I have my reasons. I would say I can't live without my phone. Yeah, that's that's a very common one. I think that's the yeah. majority of the world. I can't live without my phone because I do everything on my phone. Okay, last one. If you were stranded on a desert island and you can only have two things, what would it be? Two things. It would be my phone and one more thing, guys. What am I taking on a desert island with me if I'm stranded? I'd say a knife to go hunting for animals. I need food, right? Ooh, that's resourceful. I was not thinking that at all. Okay, I would say I would have to bring Flair so I can, like, ask for help. And I was gonna say my phone, but what if they don't have service? Yeah, now that I think about it, what good is my phone without a charger? Exactly. And where am I going to plug a charger? Exactly. Uh, yeah, phones use this, guys. <laughs> so, I would say my second thing would be a fishing net so I could catch fish. My dad fishes, so I'm hoping that fishing is just kind of in my blood, even though I don't like to do it. Mm -hmm. Like That's one of my things. But since my dad fishes, I was kind of thinking that's like one of the traits. It's just, it's just, built, it's in. just built in and it just comes out and it's like I could catch some fish. Nice, nice. I mean, I do not like fish, but I guess if I'm stranded on an island and I was starving, I'd do the same. Right? All right. Any more last questions before we close it out? I do not have any other questions, but if anyone's listening to this and you have questions for us, just please comment. Yeah. And if you have like some like, would you rather? that you want us to answer any more like interesting questions that we can ponder over in the next season hint hint so i just dropped a hint this is our last episode for the season all right yeah last episode guys yes it has been an awesome season i promise to be back with more and don't worry i'm only taking a two-week break two weeks i'm all for two weeks all, all right for so two she'll, weeks. she'll be back before you know it yeah good content yes i will i definitely will be and i'm pretty sure our listeners want to know would you be back in season two of course i'll be back of course i'm not going anywhere oh you heard that he's coming back guys he's coming back and i promise that we will be back i will have all new content for you and a whole new everything so please stay tuned and in the meantime catch up on all these episodes you guys have been amazing. I love you. We love you. Of course, we all love you. Keep sharing. Keep subscribing. Run it up. Tell your mama. Tell your friends. Tell your sister. Tell your brother. Tell everyone. Tell your neighbors. Tell the people you don't even like. Just go tell them. Tell everyone. We appreciate everybody. Yes. And I love you guys. We love you. And we're rolling out. Do, 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 do. Subscribe, like, and share. Smash that like button. Thank you.